Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Radical Reality Productions. I'm your host, Jay Milligan. Uh, we got our exit specialist here with us today, Julia Rowe, as always. And we are joined by the second member of our jury, the DCP exit specialist, Lily Petzl. Lily, how are you? Opposite sides of the coin today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. How are you guys? You're doing good. Good. Great, fantastic. Good. Go ahead, Julia. <laughs> Doing fantastic, even better now that you're joining us. So <laughs> I'm going to start off with the typical first question. So walk me through everything. Where do you think it all went wrong for you? Um, honestly, I don't really like, I'm going to be honest, I don't really understand why I went out where I went out. I think everyone that like, quote unquote, thought they were big threats, just like got in a room and threw out a name. And that's like what stuck. Um, I think I will say on my part, I think the biggest thing that I regret, my biggest regret, not that I have a lot, because I wasn't in the game that long. But I regret not kind of building more of a connection with Bill. Like I voted for Elijah at the merge boot to kind of like bridge that relationship um and then I didn't tell him which like why didn't I just tell him uh I think I was afraid to say in front of Elijah but like whatever you know what I mean so I would say that was like kind of my mistake um I think leading up to it I kind of did what I could um yeah Obviously, pre-existing connections played a role into the pre-merge yes. section of the game and Matt going really marked like the end really of the, the outsiders, quote unquote. How much do you think they affected things overall and how did you use them to your advantage? And then on the flip side, do you think that your specific relationships led to your downfall? Yeah, so honestly, as much as I wanted Matt to go out pre-merge because I thought that he was a big threat, once we got to the merge, I did not want him to go um, because I wanted to be able to utilize him. And that was kind of how I felt with Bo. We were on Bonma at the beginning, and I remember really enjoying him and thinking like, if we can stay together or, you know, once we got split up, if he, if we can come back to each other, I would have really enjoyed working with him. But once we got to the swap, the people that I had swapped with that I hadn't really known, um, like Matt, I, or like Andrew, I felt like they already had connections to other people and they wouldn't have been like a number on my side. So that's kind of how it played. I was sad to see Bo go because I thought that if we had both made merge, we could have really worked together. Um, in terms of like the pre-existing relationships, I would say that also played a huge part in my game because I am not as close with everyone else as I would say each other is. Um, I'm just like not really good about being on the virtual world. I work in a job where I don't have access to my phone or my computer the entire day. So I think it's harder for me to build those relationships, with a, which I think played into the game um, in the long run. I don't know if it really played into my vote though. All right, so you went out with a steal of vote. Um, had, had you used it, you could have tied the vote to 4-4 and been safe during automatic rocks. What went into your decision to not use it there, knowing in hindsight that it would have saved you? Yeah, I mean, of course, hindsight, I wish I would have used it and like obviously not voted for John, but in my head, it didn't really make sense to use it. I either felt like we had way too many of the votes or we had did not have enough. I didn't think we were on the line of needing to use to steal a vote. Also with me feeling like if Ian had something, he had told me during that round, you know, I don't feel comfortable. I feel like, you know, I could possibly going home. I thought if he had something, he would have used it. And that would have totally negated my steal the vote anyways. So I wish I would have used it, but everything kind of going on in that round made me feel like even if I went out, I wouldn't regret not using it because you know, I, it would have helped me though, but yeah, it's hard to go out when you have an advantage. <laughs> For sure. There's always the what ifs going around yeah. in your head always. I, I love a good what if. <laughs> always. So, <laughs> always. So you've touched on this a little bit, but do you think there's anything you could have done differently to stick around for a little bit longer, barring obviously the advantage play? 
Want to touch on um, that? Yeah, I think, again, trying to build, like telling Bill, you know, I want to work with you. Like I'm solid in this. I think also with Victoria, I feel like there was a disconnect between me wanting to work with her and I didn't really vocalize it. And so I felt like uh, she didn't think I was a number for her. And I think that's where um, the gap was with us. I don't think that there were really any other relationships that could have saved me that round other than maybe, you know, going to Bill, going to Victoria in these breakout rooms and just saying like, listen, everything aside, like, I want to work with you this game, like, let's figure out how to do this. All right, and the final question I have for you before I throw it over to Jay with questions from the viewers is, as a member of the jury, you obviously get to be a part of crowning the winner of this game. Without revealing right now who you voted for, what were you looking for in the eventual winner of our inaugural season? Yeah, so a big thing that I like to look for in a winner is somebody that doesn't really bulldoze their way to the end. I think there is grace in doing it like in a kind way and trying to, I mean, everybody was kind on this cast, but I think there's somebody, you know, there are people in these games that just like bulldoze their way. They make all the decisions. And I think like that's too easy. If you're sitting there and you said you've made all of these moves, okay. But what about the person that's next to you that maneuvered around your moves? I value that. Um, and just kind of seeing how they take grace with the game is important to me as well. I absolutely adore that answer. Um, like I said, <laughs> we're throwing over to Jay questions from the Facebook viewers. Yes, we do. And we do have quite a lot here. So you're going to be able to bear <laughs> with us. First is one of the hosts of the long games at Radic uh, Dynamic Character Productions is, I almost said my org. I'm, got a lot going on today. Hi. No, you're good. <laughs> got reading stuff. Oh, uh, Lily, so much love and respect for you. It's Ian Moorhead, by the way. So much respect and love for you, both as a player, person and as a player. I knew we were never going to link up and it and work together in this game did you feel the same way um i didn't think we were going to work together because there's no way in hell i'm putting myself next to ian because he has a genuine connection with everybody left in the game so i was like i i just that is my weakness in these short games is i don't know how to break that barrier and i know he's probably done it 10 times already so I would have worked with him. It didn't really arise, but I don't think I would have gone far with him either way. All right, he also has another question. Do you <laughs> think the steal a vote is a good survivor advantage or not? Because you've had it twice now. So I think you have a good opinion. Yeah, I love a good steal the vote, steal a vote. I think the fav, like my favorite part about it is you don't really use it by yourself. Like a steal a vote is not helpful if you're not telling anyone and I think the way that I play my game is I want to be kind of transparent with the people that I work with and if I were to have let's say an idol which would be awesome to have I wouldn't feel like I could share that information <laughs> so having a steal a vote is more fun because it becomes more of an aspect of like playing playing around taking risks you know what I mean whereas an idol it'll always save you and a steal a vote won't so I think they're fun they're not strong but I think they're fun. <laughs> I will say someone has taught a few idols. They're not as they're not as good as you think they are. They're very stressful <laughs> and you never know when to play them correctly. You just <laughs> also there's like no better feeling than stealing someone's vote that you know they are trying to vote for someone you don't agree with. I will say, like, I wish I had that opportunity in this game because there's like nothing better. <laughs> sure. I do I do love me a good seal vote too I will say that yeah. like there it's one of the most fun advantages and that's like for background we were oh, we were sitting on a production call like do we do another idol and I'm like I don't want a third idol everyone's like we don't want a third idol like what about extra I'm like what about a steal of oh <laughs> like it was just we thought it'd just be like yeah. a fun thing to put in there just because like everyone was looking for the merge idol too and we didn't have one so yeah and it and I don't feel as dumb going out with it which is yeah. another plus like if I went out with an idol I would have like a dumb dummy written over my forehead, but a seal of vote, like, okay, yeah, you just, you could have played it, but you didn't understand. Right. <laughs> right. Like you said, it's something you can't play on your own. So it's definitely like a, you know, it feels less bad going out with it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And Ian also wants to know his last question is what are the top three states you have, you've been to and, but haven't lived in? States. 
top three states that you've been to but haven't lived in? Oh. Okay, so one is Texas because I went to Texas once and this nice like gentleman with a huge belt buckle paid for me and my friend's meals because we were so excited about food. So that <laughs> automatically gets them on the list. Um, Missouri, I went to St. Louis. That place is a lot of fun. And I would say, I think Tennessee is a fun place. Yeah. Tennessee, all right, <laughs> love that. All right, we got, next we got Carrie. I love you. What's your favorite sandwich? <laughs> <My> <laughs> Carrie favorite always sandwich? comes with the, with the um, fun questions, I gotta say. <laughs> okay, it's like a turkey with like white American. It's gotta have like green peppers, spinach, banana peppers, all the toppings. Love that for you. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you gotta go. Next, we got the um, Idol King with negating votes with only one vote against them. <laughs> We got John David Millisap. John, uh, Lily, you are an um, absolute phenomenal player and even a more phenomenal person, human being, sorry. Why do you think we didn't have a relationship built on trust in the game? And what could we have done differently to um, res, I don't know what the word says, recidify that? I think he um, had a table there. <laughs> rec rec rectify. Rectify. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't see. Like, <laughs> I think, okay, so here's the thing about previous relationships. If you take how John and I didn't work in the past game aside, the way we play does not make sense. And we will both like drive that home that both of our ways of are, are playing are better. And I think that's okay. But he plays the game in a way that, doesn't make me feel like it's my game and vice versa. So I think knowing that there's no reason to build trust. So it just wasn't there. I don't even think we tried to build trust in this game. We, I think we both know that there's no way we're working together. So why, you know, we have so little time in this format of a game, like we're not going to waste it on each other and waste is a strong word, but you know what I mean? No, absolutely. <laughs> That makes sense. You guys, I feel like John's just more, more strategic than you are. You're more social and just going to go like those players just don't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, like, I don't think there are big threats and he like always thinks there's big threats. Oh. Um, it's just different ways to look at the game. I don't think one is right or wrong. So, yeah. No, I agree. I, think, heads. I agree. I think everyone's, <laughs> I think everyone's a big threat in their own way, which is something I go by yeah. a lot on Survivor. Um, <laughs> you proposed voting for me instead of Ian at the Ian at the vote because you felt Ian had the idol why did McKenna and Carrie not agree with you and what could you have done to change their mind um I mean I think there's like a little bit of paranoia that played into me thinking that Ian had something I think the only way that I could have changed their mind is if Ian has something he's playing it this round uh whether that's true or not I don't know but I felt strongly that if he had something and I know he's smart, he knows how these games work. You know, I found the steal a vote because I've seen it been done in a previous game. I knew there were idols out there. I have no freaking idea how they were found, but I know that they were out there. So I feel like Ian has a high chance of having one. <laughs> I do. I will explain that to you though. You remember how I did two, the, the tribes above my head? So mm -hmm. we gave them a clue when that person was kidnapped and they gave that person a clue to the idol. And it was like hinting that it was behind me. So then the person had a clue to be like, it's behind you. And that's how they uh, found the. Yeah. So we were trying to, because sense. it was themed after China. So we were kind of trying to do that without being like super exactly. like, and I know it came out really bad. And like, people were like, how'd you find them? But like, yeah. Yeah. You're trying to make it as true to the like actual season as possible. And it didn't work out as well as we thought it would, I'd be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so next we got Kyle Direct. Lily, sorry we didn't get to work together more. What's your favorite country you visited and one you want to visit? Oh, that is a good question. So I would say, okay, my favorite country that I visited, I only went to a small town in it, but Argentina. It was like small town, you walk everywhere, there were dogs everywhere, everyone was super nice and no one used plastic bags. And I really could like live there for the rest of my life, just drink water from ice caps. 
Um, I really enjoyed it. And I think everybody should go to Ushuaia, Argentina in their life. Um, I would like to go to, I'm actually going to Iceland in October. So I feel like it just makes sense to say that's the country I want to go to. Uh, so I'm super excited. <laughs> Next we got Gabby. Um, Lily loved watching you play this game and it's nice to nice to root for my exile island people my question is why did you think i'd give the clue to ian instead of john gabby that's a great question um i think gabby is an enigma to me like i can't i can't read her which is really great for her i think she's a great player you know what i mean i think she's very good at like keeping her cards close to her and figuring out how the game works. And that makes me nervous because I have no idea what she's thinking. Um, I just thought maybe because of their connection from exile that it might've gone to, or playing exile, I thought it might've gone to Ian. I mean, John has previously voted Gabby out. I am, um, I am salty. So I just assume everyone's salty when they get voted out and they wouldn't give it to somebody that voted them out. But I think it's even more kudos to Gabby that she put that aside and she gave it to John who she wanted to work with. Um, yeah, it's my long answer for a short, could have just said, I have no idea, just paranoia at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm always salty. We love a good bitter juror. <laughs> <laughs> Next we got the social media specialist of Dynamic Character Productions, Greg Lingstein. This is unacceptable. <laughs> Lily, do you... <laughs> sorry, I thought of that too. Because I can picture Greg saying it. Just... <laughs> yeah. Lily, do you think you were at a disadvantage playing with people you knew? Um. Yes. I think one thing about my game, my game, you know, how I play these games is I play very emotionally. And had Ian not come into the breakout room and been like, kind of like, I feel weird. Like, I feel like I'm going to be voted out. If I had not really like cared that he felt like he was getting voted out, I would have just put his name down, you know, to a certain extent. But I do kind of let my relationships, my like feelings towards people guide how I want to treat the game. And I think that made it harder for me to like gun for someone or to throw a name out or to make bigger moves that might have needed to be made the vote before all right and he does want to know what do you prefer a minis or a long game um i think minis are fun but i think i obviously i do better in long games i've done one long game one mini uh vast differences in placement so i'll take a long game any day just like let me quit work for 30 days <laughs> Yeah, no, it's it's tough, but it's uh, basically what it comes down to our understanding, right? It's like minis are more convenient and um mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Yeah. Lily, why why on earth did you not try to eat your own sooner? That's oh, this is from Danny Napapa, by the way. She wants to know why you didn't eat your own sooner. Yeah, um that's a great question. I think actually going back to the first question that was asked another regret I have is voting out Gabby. And you see, even at the Andrew vote, I did not want to vote out Andrew. I thought we could have worked together. But again, there were points pre-merge where I just didn't, I could not get votes for us to eat our own. It felt like without putting a target on my back. So there is a little of like, these are my friends and I don't want to vote them out because that's mean, you know what I mean? And then there's a little bit of, if I throw one of us, you know, one of our names out there, am I the next to go? Because I was ready to vote somebody out in the group that knew each other. So I think both of those played a part. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely hard to maneuver, especially in a mini where everything happens so fast. So I kind of have to agree with you then that. Mm -hmm. She also wants to know, did you think you were at the top of your alliance? Um, what alliance? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I really did feel like McKenna, Carrie, and I were, worked well together and we could have worked well. Um, but I don't know that there was anyone on top or if there was a alliance situation that I would have felt that way. And I don't think even if there was, I would ever feel that way.
so, sorry, I had to, I had to take something real quick at home, so oh, I didn't. Worry, we'll just first. we'll just we'll just edit it out in post. Yeah. <laughs> and whatever. It was like two seconds. I heard you talking for the most part. And she goes, and she wants to add some more of a comment. Um, or there's a comment and then a question after. I think you okay. have a could have used your amazing social skills to pull off, pull in some of the people you didn't know to start targeting the biggest threats on the DCP side. Also. Who was your number one in the game? Um, no, I completely agree with that statement. I think when we voted out Andrew, maybe if I could have gotten Carrie and McKenna to vote out maybe Bill, because Bill ends up not helping my game in the long run, um, that would have been smarter. Do I think that A, Matt would have voted out Bill? No. Um, so I don't know how well that would have gone. Um, my number one probably was in between Carrie and McKenna because I felt like we could talk. I could throw out someone's name after the merge and it wasn't going to be like, let me run and tell everyone um, sort of deal. All right. Well, next we got um, golf McKenna, as you guys call her, or McKenna Inglis. <laughs> I got to see you guys' <laughs> jokes. I think you guys are hilarious. You know that. <laughs> sneaking, in, sneaking in at 11.59, Lily. As everyone has said above, I love you. You're awesome. <laughs> I'm so happy to finally be able to play with you. Who is your favorite Love Island UK couple of all time? Of all time? Honestly, this is a hard question because there's like eight seasons. And as soon as I watch something, like even Survivor, once it's done, it's just like out my head. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I couldn't even tell you who won season 39. <laughs> of survivor let alone love <laughs> island um but i'm gonna say my favorite couple <clears throat> is it's gonna be from the current season because i'm watching it do you guys watch love island i don't i've always wanted to get to it but i just could not like <laughs> i okay, just yeah it's so weird <laughs> you have to watch the uk version if you do okay but my answer is either the winning couple of season one because they were just like wild and they just gave no shits about what anybody thought or it would be, oof, I am going to go with wild card and say Davide and Ekinsu. <laughs> we love to see it. All right. Yeah. And next. <laughs> They're like the most chaotic couple, but they work. And actually so, sneaking okay, it. Yeah. And actually just sneaking <laughs> in and just sneaking in with a comment right as we um, were starting up here. Um, or actually in the middle of your interview, um, McKenna Feeney just wants to say, Lily, I love you, and that is all, who is the host <laughs> at BCP. Very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all for her Facebook questions. I'm going to turn back to Julia with just a, another question or two to kind of finish up. Yeah, we just like to finish with one question. So obviously, in hindsight, your shot in the dark could have been very helpful here on this vote. Um, what went into the decision to not use it? Um, obviously, you probably regret it, but I just want to know, like, what in, went into that decision, and would you use it if you if you could go back and do it? Would you use it there, or do you think even if you did use it and stay, you were dead in the water? So, one thing to know about me is I'm I am like a little bit can like I like to have control and my. The biggest thing I don't like about a shot in the dark is I have no control over A, where the votes are going in my aspect, I don't get to vote. And B, I don't have control over quote unquote my safety. So I don't think, even if I knew that it was gonna be like eight to one me, I still don't think I do a shot in the dark because I need to be able to say like, I, I did what I could, I didn't leave it up to chance. Um, but again, that's just like, I, you know, I make my bed in the morning. I'm going to vote for who I want to vote for. And I wanted to be a little chaotic this game. And I don't think you got to see a lot of it, but like my vote for John was chaotic and fun for me. And I think it's fine that I go out on a vote that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I love that. Well, that's all the questions I have. Thank you so much. You're such a delight. I'm going to throw it back over to Jay for some housekeeping and information about the next episode. But again, Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah you. Lily, agreed. That was super chaotic. And, you know, um, we love that you were the one vote that you know, John negated. And yeah, it was four <laughs> names. Don't blame John for playing that. But um, you have been such a delight in the season. I uh, loved you, my ex interview and everything. And uh, we always 
all people, many people in production play DCP and we were so excited to have you play. And we are so happy that you took a chance and played this season. You were amazing. And we look forward to having you on the jury as always. Um, but yeah, we have a, me and Mar Marvin is back on a bunch of vacations. Marvin had a lot going on. So we will be having a recap and we do have a special guest. Not going to say who it is, but we do have a special guest lined up for this interview. So we are excited about, or not interview, recap. So we are super excited to have them. Um, other than that, um, yeah, we have an episode coming out Friday. And as always, an extra of an interview show um, will follow up on Monday with the third member of our jury. Um, other than that, keep tuning in. We are getting very close to the end game here. And I am going to go ahead and do something even more. We do have currently have applications out for our next mini, which is going to be survivor bayonita island um so we'll go ahead and apply we are still taking applications uh newbies if you're seeing this anybody is welcome we are excited and we hope to see you in our next mini and we hope you continue watching and comment subscribe do what you have to do keep supporting us thank you everyone have a good night i'm your host jay milligan with our extra specialist julia rowe and lily petzold our second member of jury <laughs>